Hey guys, this is Jay and in this video I'm just going to showcase this Steam Deck dock that I picked up on Amazon and this one costs $32. Um, it's actually the Gorzai Store Steam Deck dock. Um, very easy to pick up and it's actually really cool because you know it's you have a dock and this USB-C cable provides power and video and then on the back you have HDMI USB-C for power and then three USB 3.0 type A ports and I made this makeshift Steam Deck station I guess um, I have my mouse connected by Bluetooth to the deck and let me just connect the rest of these so this is power you can use the one that uh, power adapter that comes with the Steam Deck HDMI right here for the monitor and since I have um, a free one here I, I connected a fan to it this is a uh, an NCXT 120, millim uh, 120 millimeter fan that's just uh, super glued on there and then I have my keyboard and also if you have a Bluetooth keyboard that would work as well so um, the portable monitor, this is a 15.6 inch Arzopa um, 144 Hz and 300 nits portable monitor. They're all over Amazon. Um, they have nice ones with, uh, with OLED screens and even QLED. Um, but this one is IPS and I got it because of the uh, 144 Hz uh, refresh rate. Um, since I'm connected by HDMI and not DisplayPort, it'll be maximum 120 hertz. Um, and it also has a 1080p resolution. So we have the Steam Deck here. And as you can see, I'm running low on battery. That should start charging it as well as the fan. Uh, turn the fan on. And as you can see, I now have a um, bigger screen. So first things first, you know, you can play it on here. Uh, just remember that the Steam Deck runs games at 1280 by 800. So what we want to do is um, make sure when you run the game, you go to the cog and go to properties. You set the resolution right here. And you can even force this screen, the internal display, to, to run at 1080p. Um, but that is only really, it's not worth it because you know you want to take advantage of the full size of the screen. And for this setup, it's, it's beneficial if it's a game that can actually run a well at 1080p. And Tomb Raider is actually one of those game, games. It's old enough that you know it won't cause a lot of lags. Um, I also have a DualSense controller connected. I do want to show something real quick. So we're on, uh, we're not on desktop mode, we're on the regular game mode of the Steam Deck. And if you play some games like this one with a mouse and a keyboard, um, there's a really bad glitch that is only resolved by going or by launching it in desktop mode so as you can see it launched it um, everything should work fine 1080p and overlay here shows us our frame rate and I'm at the beginning of the game but I wanted to show you the glitch so let me see All right, so controller works fine. And frame rates, 55, 58. Um, let me double check that I'm not capping that actually. So as you can see, I can't change the refresh rate in um, game, game mode as well. So resolution is 1080p and Everything else is on custom, normal. Um, 
turned up V-Sync just to see if it'll spike over 60. Seems to be locked uh, right below 60. So here's the glitch. Keyboard should work fine, right? But the mouse is going to give you that issue. Super sensitivity, there's nothing you can do about it. It's the, um, it's just how it is in game mode. And you can change the mouse sensitivity, you can do all sorts of things, it does not help. So if you're stuck with a mouse and keyboard and you want to play these kinds of games on the Steam Deck, um, you want to go to power and switch to desktop mode. And while it's doing that, it's actually going to load the software here. And as you can see, we're back on the internal display. If you want to make this your main screen, you can go to um, settings here. And then actually, let me start over. So settings right here on the bottom left. And then let me drag this over here and go to display. As you can see, I should have the Arzopa up top and then the Steam Deck at the bottom like that. So that when I drag my mouse, it'll, it'll just go down to this screen. See, um, display configuration and that also altered everything but I'm just gonna drag this click keep and then we're gonna make our sofa our primary I've already done that but if it's your first time uh, doing this you're gonna have to do that and right here refresh rate only goes up to 120 and that's because I'm connected by HDMI and then going back to Tomb Raider it's right here Um, by the way, you can also use this now as, you know, it's a Linux computer, so you can use it now for browsing the web and just doing all sorts of uh, normal computer tasks. Um, I'm going to load Tomb Raider. And there's ro really nothing stopping you from loading your games this way it, it is steam you still have your you still have access to all your to your library um, another thing I could have done is which I'm actually gonna do because I'm seeing some clipping here um, is I'm gonna quit real quick actually no I'm already in the game so I'm gonna just continue because I don't want to have to reload this. And I just wanted to show the glitch. So we have the controller, works fine. And then we have the mouse, I mean the keyboard, works great. And the mouse works just fine now. So. All right, so glitch has been resolved and hopefully there are uh, Valve will be able to fix that in a later update so let me close this game and back to that display issue so um, you can definitely have it like this if you want two screens um, but I'm noticing part of the screen is showing here <clears throat> so I think it's just the way that I place them yeah see I have it overlapping so you can do that see easily resolves it if you don't want two screens on at the same time um, you can just disable it right there by unclicking the enabled there you go um, I'm gonna switch back over to gaming mode And this should do the uh, reloading again. And I'm just going to put this keyboard away real quick.
I'm just gonna run Spider-Man real quick just to double check if you know the Steam Deck can even handle 1080p for this game. Um, since there's a lot of um, upscaling technology that it has. So the game has or supports FSR 2.0. Um, there's also the in-game one created by Insomniac. And I believe there's a third one, but I'm not sure if that's an NVIDIA only one. But let me check. Because on NVIDIA, I think I saw DLAA, which is different from DLSS. But let's see. So as you can see, it's running it. And if you look to the top left, it's running it over 60 hertz so I'm not even sure if the Steam Deck supports external FreeSync but this display does have FreeSync um, and it is I did turn it on but I'm not sure if it'll actually support it so I'm gonna select this and it looks like um, yeah, it looks like we're running it at 1280p or 800p. So let's see. I'm going to set it to 1080. Um, I want to see the graph, uh, the frame rate. It's actually being displayed in real time. So 60 frames per second. It's obviously not what we're going to get. Um, but I'd be surprised. And then upscale method here. You know, you can turn it off. This is the one by Insomniac. Um, it is called IGTI and it stands for Insomniac Games Tempo Temporal Injection. So we're actually going to test some of these. Yeah, so um, DLSS is obviously not going to be on here because that's by NVIDIA. So I just see two, IGTI and FSR 2.0. So let's let's do FSR first and let's load the game so I have the fan back here and hopefully it's doing its thing by helping cool Steam Deck the Steam Deck's um, intake is actually on the back and exhaust is up here so if I just push this in a bit more that should help a little bit. All right. So we have 1080p balanced um, FSR 2.0, and it was ranging between 30 to even 50 frames per second, 45. So averaging around like 40, 45. But, let me see, let's t do some action here before. Where the heck are these enemies? <laughs> Web throw items, there we go. One, two, three, and trying to actually trying to. Oh, I saw a bit of a lag there. Ah, okay, that's some really bad lag. I, I actually have. The, uh, the game installed on the micro SD card. There we go, I, cr I did the objectives. So, while I was busy taking down those guys, I'm pretty sure you guys could see the frames per second here. Um, next, we will try the other upscaling technology.
um, hopefully it takes effect in game so balanced IGTI apply So this one still looks really nice, actually. Uh, Performance-wise, seems to be very similar. Um, let's go find some bad guys here so we can test this out. So this one I haven't seen hit 50 yet, so it may it may be a bit weaker than. FSR 2.0 All right, they just said something. Where is that? Let's look on the map. Let's see There we go, we're hitting 50s now. We're, we're on the ground. This does feel a bit smoother though, this IGTI one. Uh, but can't really test it properly. Alright, where's Hudson Town? Alright, zoom out, zoom out. Hudson Town, where are you? Midtown, Greenwich, Financial District, Chinatown, I don't know where Hudson Town is. I think I have to uh, unlock these towers to see those red marks. Alright. There we go. Something popped up on the map. Skip, skip, skip. Come on. I think that's it. So, 30s to 40s. Oh, I see it. That way. There's the lag, so I think this is when it's loading things in the distance. Alright, let's do this. IGTI in action. This is also on balance mode, so technically we should be on uh, performance mode since we're at 1080p. Actually, let me do that. Since we've already seen how much frames we could get out of balance anyway. Alright, let it adjust. So, 40s. It does look noticeably blurrier, I guess. Or that might be the motion blur and the edges I can see are a bit uh, alias compared to before but let's check it out so so we were getting 30s and up to 50 heavy action sequence 30s and let me check out FSR 2.0 under performance FSR 2.0 based on what I see in person looks a lot nicer than IGTI and 
So far, producing over 40s. And this is a 1080p, by the way, so... Um, that's pretty impressive if you think about it. We have to throw items. Web throw items, web throw items, there, got all checked things. So that is the two um, upscaling technology that we can use within this game. Um, so this setup works well. Um, I really just made it last minute, but it's working well. And you know, um, I do plan to pick up either the AOK Zoe or the GPD Win Max 2 to make more use out of this setup. But for the most part, Steam Deck is powerful enough to run these games and you know if you don't have a laptop and you want a Steam Deck with a setup like this well there you go just get the dock I'll leave the link in the descriptions as well as the one for the monitor um, one last thing I'll say if you want a 144 Hertz portable monitor in terms of um, balance of feature and price the Arzopa one would be my pick I initially got the U Perfect one and that one was dim. It was I think only hitting up to they said 220 nits, but it was dimmer than that at you know even with full brightness. Um, but that should be it for the video. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you guys with how you would want to set up for your Steam Deck um, setup. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's it. See ya.